The 2017-2018 NBA season is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be filled with a ton of NBA superstars looking to find new NBA homes. There's one NBA team that always seems to be swirling around these rumors, and that is the Los Angeles Lakers, guys. So we are going to look at the team that could potentially break the NBA. Hi, guys. I'm Mike Cor. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. And for today's video, we are seeing what if every single... Los Angeles Lakers rumor came true, guys. Basically, like, what if it was the perfect scenario as a Lakers fan? Um, this is what the team would be looking like, guys. And really, the reason why I wanted to do this video is I wanted to see if a guy like Lonzo Ball and LeBron James, if they could coexist together. You know, Paul George, we know we struggle on the OKC Thunder. If he can come on this Lakers team, really bounce back. If Brandon Ingram could, you know, run with the, these other guys out there, he seems to just be starting to find himself in the NBA. And DeMarcus Cousins, honestly speaking, guys, he always does put up the numbers. But he is also notorious for losing, right? Like, he doesn't, he's not really a leader when it comes to the basketball. Well, the game of basketball, I should say. Um, as you know, he always puts up MVP numbers, but just it seems like he struggles, though, when it comes to the leadership department. And then, of course, guys, rounding up the bench, we got Larry Nance Jr. The only reason he's at small forward is because, um, if I kept him at power forward, for some reason, he kept on trying to start over Brandon Ingram, so it was kind of pissing me off. We got Kuzma at power forward. Ideally, I'd like him at small forward, but power forward's fine. Zubac, and then we all, we got like DJ Augustine, you know, just like some guys out there that would probably sign with this team. Who knows what this team would fully look like. All I know is that this is the starting five. Lounge ball, Paul George, LeBron James, Brandon Ingram, DeMarcus Cousins. Straight up, guys, I'm not a Lakers fan, okay? I'm not being like a delusional Lakers fan. I just love seeing like, what if all the wishes came true of all the NBA rumors of this Lakers team? So... Pretty much, I am going to simulate an entire NBA season. We're going to see how this team does out there. Talk a bit about this Lakers team, how it could happen, and things of that nature. So, first and foremost, what you need to look at is uh, Lounge Ball and Brandon Ingram. Those are obviously, like, the future of that franchise outside of these superstar players here. But they are still on, like, their rookie contract deals. I believe there's a team option on Brandon Ingram. So, they are not costing a lot of money right now. Um, I don't know if this is Raider Felt Ross automatically. Okay, whatever. We're all good with that. But, yeah. So, uh, Lonzo and Brandon Ingram, they're very cheap right now as far as their contracts go. I mean, if, if also if the Lakers could get rid of the contract of uh, Lou Aldang, that that's a lot of money freed up to really sign a, a, one of these you know superstars players like a max contract, something like that. You got DeMarcus Cousins, you got LeBron James, you got Paul George, guys. Really, uh, the money would go at those three players, and it's like fill in the blanks elsewhere. And you got two of your other big name, name starters in Lonzo and Ingram that don't need big time money right now. You know, just so this team wouldn't last for like forever, just because eventually they would run into money situations and paying over the luxury tax. Although I have no idea what the tax laws are like when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. And I guess in the NBA, though, it's all pretty much the same, right? Just uh, contract wise, though, you know, people don't realize this. There's certain like tax laws in NBA safe. I believe Miami is a big is one of the big ones where the tax laws are very friendly and uh, you can actually give a, a player a smaller contract but in reality they're actually making more money than they would would in a different state with that same contract due to the taxes so I have no idea what's like for the Lakers there but this could totally work out my friends I know you guys don't care about all the financial stuff I just want to tell you guys how this could happen but now let's talk a little bit about um if this could actually work so you know, there was talks of LeBron James going to the Philadelphia 76ers, and I wasn't a huge fan of that just because Ben Simmons and LeBron James have pretty similar skill sets. I mean, LeBron James, obviously, no matter where he goes, has to be the alpha male. And it's like, the only issue I see with LeBron James, it wouldn't be so much a Lonzo Ball, it would be with LeVar Ball, because I'm going to tell you guys this straight up, man. If LeVar Ball was not, like, a figure that was around Lonzo Ball, you know, just from a uh, purely... You know, just, we all know his personality. Like, if he just wasn't around, it was just Lonzo Ball doing the traditional rookie thing like most rookies do. Then, I, I, I really do think D'Angelo Russell would still be on the Lakers. But, you know, LeVar Ball was like, no, nah, man, this is my boy Lonzo's team and everything like that. And I know Magic Johnson was a big part of that, too. So, it's like, would, would, would the Ball family be able to set their ego aside? I feel like they would have to. Um, honestly, Lonzo Ball, from his skill set standpoint, is like a horrible point guard to put alongside LeBron James. Let's be honest, guys, because he does need the ball in his hand to be maximum efficient. Um, but when it comes to actually shooting, shooting, it's like, yes, he could approve on that. I think he, I think he will approve on that too. But you know, um, there's always been like a great shooting point guard also, alongside LeBron James. You have your Kyrie Irving, uh, Mario Chalmers was a spot shooter in the Miami Heat. Um, I guess you got Isaiah Thomas right now, or you know, when he comes back from injury and all that good stuff there. So I don't know, man. It's gonna be it would be interesting to see. Then of course you got Paul George. I think Paul George could definitely take like that second I don't know, man, because who would be the second option? Would I, I think LeBron James would have to be number one. Like I, I feel like just on paper it would be that, although he's such a good playmaker that um I don't think he would really need need to be the leading scorer of that team. So it's like then you got Paul George, you got Demarcus Cousins. See, Cousins would definitely be an interesting per, uh, person alongside LeBron James because I feel like LeBron James could really get the most out of Boogie. 
just because like Boogie would not have to have be pressured to be the leader of the team. It's like he could be the guy behind LeBron James, listen to the King and everything like that. Similar to like J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith, when he was playing with LeBron, uh, became such more of like an efficient just personality, if that makes sense. I mean, I know he still has his crazy moments. That's just who he is as a person. But uh, when it came to like you know basketball, it seemed like he was a lot more grounded and level-headed. I feel like that passion of Boogie would be welcome, but he would need to uh, contain it at times soon. I think LeBron James has definitely got to do that. But here we go. Uh, Fifty. Wow, who freaking got first and second on this team? Really, man? The Warriors six six and sixteen. Bro, y'all y'all tell me that the Warriors team would be better than this Lakers team? Let me tell you guys, this freaking, oh my god. The Western Conference players would be absolutely crazy. And then you got the Rockets with James Harden and Chris Paul getting the same record at 54 and 27. Not gonna lie, guys, very underwhelming record. Although they do have two young players still in Ingram and Lonzo Balls. So, uh, similar through date right here. W got the Kings, you got uh, Russell Westbrook no longer has Paul George on his team, going back to averaging a triple-double. Maybe that's just what Russell Westbrook is, and maybe that's all Thunder fans need him to be. Just a guy that they can all root for. Never going to win any championships, but going to put up crazy numbers. Michael Porter Jr., rookie of the year. You got Jeremy Lin, six-man, Sam White, Sam Malik Monk, most improved. All-NBA first team. We do got LeBron James on there, so it looks, it looks like he was still the man. Like, he didn't, like, take a step back or anything scoring-wise. Although, we will check out the stats here in a little bit. All-NBA second team. Isaiah Thomas on the Cleveland Cavaliers going off without LeBron James. So, who knows what he'll actually be like when he comes back for Cleveland. Uh, besides for that, not like any like crazy players right here. All NBA third, we got Damian Lillard, Anthony Davis. Okay, so first and foremost, I do not see Boogie Cousins or Paul George. Curious what kind of numbers they actually put up out here. Um, Paul George, all defensive second team at least, so good for him there. Okay, let's check out these player stats here real quick. And we got, we got, we got. So Paul George actually did lead this team in scoring at 22 points. About five rebounds, three, four assists out there, getting over two steals a game. So great defensively, brought the scoring. LeBron James has, you know, 20 points per game. That's good. Like, LeBron James wants to be on a team where he doesn't have to go drive, you know, drive him to the damn stadium every single day being like, damn, I got to put up 50 points for our team to have a chance. That's nice. Like, I love I love Paul George being the leading scorer. It just seems right. Uh, and then you got six rebounds and eight assists for LeBron. Uh, Boogie Cousins, 17 points, nine rebounds, three assists, getting a steal, getting over a block a game out there. So I feel like he probably would be the third option in a lot of games, but there would be times where he would like take over and have his 30 point games. Um, but I do see him averaging closer to maybe 20 points per game with LeBron James, just like due to the looks that he would find him out there. Um, Ingram as now the fourth option of this team, you know, 11 points, uh, you know, three, four rebounds out there, two assists. Think about him though, guys, is he is still growing as a player. So um, he really doesn't to play that power forward position. He just needs to put weight on playing simple. Like, like height is always nice, but you got to have weight. Like even to play a small ball four, you got to have the weight on you. I think he could definitely do that and still be a problem for some other fours in the NBA. Uh, Kuzma, 10 points off the bench. DJ Augustine, 8.7 assists. That's always nice. And then you got Lonzo Ball, seven points, four rebounds and six assists. And basically what Lonzo Ball would be in this position is go be the, you know, go, go be the, the, the dirty work man out there, you know, do the, do the, all the little things that nobody else is doing, if we need you to make a shot at times, that's fine, well, you know, you'll be open, that doesn't mean you have to shoot it, you know, uh, go for every single rebound, get all you guys involved out there, honestly, man, I, I, I hate to say this, and I feel like Laker fans are going to get offended by this, I totally don't mean it, but Lonzo the ball on this type of Laker team, with this type of, like, star players, he needs to be the Draymond Green of this team, he needs, to, he needs to be the guy that can get that poor man's triple-double night in, night out. That would be such a great role for him at the age of 21 at this point. He would only be. So, I don't know, man. I would absolutely love that from him if LeVar Ball could handle it. It's like, can LeVar Ball handle the Lakers winning but not having Lounge to be the man behind it? So, I just feel like that would be a great uh, role for him, especially being 6'6". He could bring some great defense there, too. Uh, Larry Nance, we got Zubac. Okay, we got Brandon Paul. Yeah, man, I don't know. This team definitely would be intriguing to watch. It'd be so much fun. I'd be watching every single damn game, man. Sign up for NBA League Pass. Not a sponsored video, by the way. Just saying. I, I would need that. I would need that in my life. All right. Uh, first round of the playoffs. We do have the Utah Jazz. Simulate current round. See how this goes. See um. Well, okay. 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 2K. Uh, I, guess, I, I, I guess that's the end of the video. I mean, I was... I was gonna I was gonna say a few more things, but I mean they 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 just lost in, in, in the first round to the Utah Jizz Jazz. Um shout out to Donovan Mitchell for his 17 points and double double for Rudy Gobert. Ricky Rubio's a nice point guard. Okay, well guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about LeBron James going to the Los Angeles Lakers with Paul George and Boogie Cousins? Not saying it's gonna happen. 
just the best case scenario for the Lakers and all the money situation working out and all bitch ass contract side hoping it would work out, man. Like, what do you think about that? Uh, do you think they would be a good team or do you think they will lose in the first round to the Utah Jazz? Let's go ahead and submit the rest of these playoffs. I am okay. Well, okay. Golden State Warriors getting the NBA championship. Let's have some sort of normality right here. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you are new to my channel, and peace out.